Now, let's talk about what gets in the way as we move towards MAN and GOD. The 12 major fears. Uh, uh, these came out of the book titled Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. Except the last one. <laughs> he, he didn't deal with that one. The first one that's considered here is the fear of the loss of one's love because most people are virtually bombarded with finding love, a loved one, and with being loved. Most people are not bombarded with the intent of loving, but being loved. I want somebody to love me, that's all I ask. <laughs> well, again, if I say to a woman, I love you, that's all I'm responsible for. I'm not responsible as to whether she loves me in return. She is, not me. Loving is what gives you access to the power of love. It is wholly an act of will. Your willingness to love draws out the power of love. Then if she intends to love you, don't say to your woman, I love you, baby. Do you love me? Because <laughs> that's the pimp's thing. He said, no, I love you. And you say you love me, well, get on out there and get it if you love me. You know, it's very good psychology for a fifth grader driving a Cadillac in 12 suits to pass Stacey Adams. But he's going the wrong way, of course. We know that. I beat your ass because I love you. You mad. <laughs> no, that ain't, ain't no love there at all. <laughs> But it can be psychologically reassuring for someone who is ignorant of what and who they are and has a desire, again, to be loved. Yeah. Some people just like to hear it. Just tell me you love me. Lie to me and tell me. <laughs> <laughs> love doesn't lie. It is a power. And if you listen carefully, your soul will tell you that it loves you. It will just say it. It's the sweetest words you want to hear, particularly when you're hurt or sad. You know, and a lot of times, we, you know, we, we like them little pity parties, you know. Ain't nobody kidding about me. <laughs> I've been to a lot of them. <laughs> and something inside says, I love you. Good feeling, great feeling. 